Amazing, those things. I was in print media myself, once upon a time. We did it the hard way. <laughs> and I had a blog, you know, way back then. Poor Richard's Almanac. Hardcover. Where's your Kindle? I like the feel of a real book. Do you think we're finished as a culture? Sorry, I take some getting used to. I know. The lips don't move. Bronze. What's happening? It's you and me, my friend. I thought you'd never get here. Have a seat, Peter. You can figure it out later. There's something very strange going on here. Somewhat extraordinary, I'll admit, but ordinary actions are not going to get us out of the mess we're in. I'm listening to a bronze statue of... Ben. Just Ben is fine. Why me? Well, I know some things about you. You live outside the box. You don't rabbit it when things go bad. You care what happens. You hang in. Why am I smiling? Because I've got you pegged as the renegade you are. <laughs> okay then, down to business. Whatever you say, sir. Ben. Okay, Ben. Let's get your car. We're going for a ride. I don't live in that chunk of bronze, you know. So where do you live? Wherever I want. <laughs> Are you there, Ben? Right here, Peter. Just drive. You know there's a crisis, and what has precipitated it? The election. And no ordinary election. There have been crises before, the Great Depression, oh my god, that was brutal. But now we have a president with nothing to show for his first term but massive debt, economic chaos, yet he's re-elected. And this is a man who is determined by his own statements to subvert the Constitution, redistribute the wealth, and reduce our strength and standing in the world. It's frickin' mind-boggling. It was predicted that a democracy would last only to the point where a majority of the people discovered they could vote themselves benefits from the Treasury. Well, it's here. This is the wake-up call to end all wake-up calls. So what do we do? Well, conventional wisdom would suggest that we give up. It's too late. It well might be. But... No one thought the American Revolution was ours to win. Talk about odds. But we did it. Tough as hell, though. We risked everything. One of the problems is public education. A prime focus of America's enemies has been to weaken the people's knowledge and understanding of our Constitution. It's the bedrock of our liberty and strength. We've got to put it back. Too many have been lost in defense of our freedom for us to let it slip by the boards now. The Constitution gives us the rule of law, as opposed to the dictates of men. But that doesn't answer the question. What do we do now? Spread reason and truth to coming generations at the grassroots, beginning with the Constitution. I'm sorry, Ben, but... As far as the eye can see, 
There's not a handful of people who could even read the Constitution, much less understand it. I mean, how are you going to teach it? I thought you'd never ask. Did you know that YouTube is the second largest search engine on the web? I think I've heard that. Why do you suppose that is? We've reached an age where people just don't read that much anymore. They do go to movies, watch videos, like to play video games. They like to be entertained. Precisely. So imagine a movie that introduces people to the Constitution in an entertaining way. The entire Constitution? Enough for them to understand where it came from and the value and importance of it. They need to see how it affects them and what life will be like if it's lost. Just look at Stalin's Russia or Hitler's Germany to know exactly what happens when the law becomes whatever your leaders decide it is. Well, some think it can't happen here, but without constitutional restraints, a government quickly deteriorates into a hellhole where bureaucrats run things, successful people are targeted, and the free market is destroyed. But you still haven't told me the answer. Some filmmakers have taken it upon themselves to develop a feature-length film that transmits enough understanding of the Constitution that viewers can begin to differentiate between politicians who will trash the Constitution and take us down the road to ruin, and those who will fight for it and restore it. So who's behind this? That is film producer Norm Novitsky and his wife, Terry. Norm conceived the idea of an entertaining film about the Constitution, which people could actually enjoy while they learned some things. Next stop, Pasadena. Co-producer Eric Sherman is a film producer in his own right, a teacher of film at Art Center College of Design, and is a noted film industry consultant with several books to his credit, including the classic text, Directing the Film. And here is co-producer and writer Tom Solari, who is responsible for the script. Solari has a long track record as a producer himself, but he's also a comedy writer and performer. He was enlisted to write this script due to his comedic background and his passion for the Constitution and our founding. So these are the three principles in this movie project, all professionals and all determined to reintroduce the Constitution to Americans in a way that they'll actually get it and defend it. When the film is made, is it going into theaters? It's no vampire flick, so who's gonna see it? It's not intended for theaters. Let's pull over. Where's your iPad? It's right here. Go ahead, open it. The In Search of Liberty film will be marketed and sold as DVDs and internet downloads directly to middle America, patriots, tea party groups, and other conservatives across the country. Homeschoolers are a prime public, as is the Christian community. The film appeals to everyone who cares about our country and is interested in rescuing it from those who want to pervert it. Remember, some 58 million people voted for someone other than President Obama. That is the market. It seems insurmountable to reverse the decline after generations of progressive propaganda in the schools. We've got to start somewhere. The recovery of the Constitution is vital if we're to restore America to real freedom and prosperity. So what's needed? These filmmakers need a well-heeled patriot to step up and back this thing. It's as simple as that. It's written. It's budgeted. They're ready to go. Spread the word, Peter. It's time to do something effective to change the disastrous course we're on. Let's take a walk. And, by the way, this film is only the beginning. It's the first of a series of entertaining films 
to waken the people and politicians to sensible government and sound fiscal policies. Think big, Peter. The Constitution and the country are worth saving. Over to you. I hear you, Ben. Got to leave you now. Ben, wait. I mean, I feel like I should at least shake your hand. Help get In Search of Liberty made, and you'll be surprised what could happen. Go for it, Peter. You got it. Later, Ben. An investment in knowledge always pays the best interest. Do it, my friends. With your help, we can win this. Thank you.